Hi there. I'm going to very quickly show you how to get up and running with Studio 2 from virtualstudioset.com. Of course, TriCaster users can load the Photoshop file directly into Nutex Virtual Set Editor, but I'm going to show you how to use the individual PNG layers that you also get to create the studio in post-production. I'm using After Effects here, but the same principles apply to Final Cut, Premiere Pro, and things like that. I'm going to open up the folder for the mid-angle of Studio 2. You get lots of different layers here, including a number of black and white mats. You don't need all of them to get started. I'm just going to bring in the mid-ground layer, the foreground desk, and the static newsroom, and the static newsroom desk reflection. I'm going to start off with the mid-ground layer. That gives you the basic back section of the studio there. I'm going to put the static newsroom behind it, I'm going to put the foreground desk on top and I'm going to put the static newsroom desk reflections behind the desk and in front of the midground. Now I'm going to bring in our green screen guy and there he is doing, doing what he does. I'm going to key him off his green background, scale him down and position him where we want him to be sitting. Now that's looking great but we have no reflection so I'm going to duplicate that layer and the lower layer I will flip vertically, position it down there and then put that layer behind the desk. So now we have him doing what he does in the studio. Now, there's a demo version of this angle on the site. You can download that and try out everything for yourself. The full version comes with a looping newsroom background. If we go into the folder called Precompt Individual Angles and choose the Newsroom Loop Mid, I'm just going to set that to loop many times and then we'll drop that in instead of the static newsroom. So now we have him talking and all the screens are animating behind him as well. Now that layer actually comes with the reflection built in and all we need to do with that is to duplicate that layer and then we can use the static newsroom desk reflection as an alpha mat and now we have our guy doing what he does and the screens all moving behind him as well. And that's it. Thanks very much for watching.